Today I'm going to show you how to operate the Q-Logic joystick. This joystick is present on most quantum power chairs. Um, so to start, we're going to go over this display. So up at the top right is an indicator. This indicates the position your chair is in. If you have a solid green light, the chair is ready to drive. If you have a solid green light with an eye, the little eyeball on here, this means you're in eye level. Uh, this is only on chairs with the eye level seat lift. This chair is currently has the seat lift up, so that I don't have to bend over to make this video. If you see the circle is yellow, that means your chair's speed is inhibited. You most likely have a function uh, that is being engaged that is triggering the chair to go slower. And if you have a red circle with an X, then that means the chair will not drive. You probably have the chair tilted or reclined too far back that the chair does not deem it safe to drive. Uh, but green means you're good to drive. Up top, you have your time of day, and then to the right is your battery indicator with a percentage. I am green with 100%, that means this battery is 100% full on this chair. Now this main screen here, we have different profiles on this chair. We are currently on indoor slow. That is the slowest profile on this chair. Its top speed is probably one mile an hour. There's four profiles on this chair. There's indoor slow, indoor moderate, outdoor moderate and outdoor fast. I will go over those in a few minutes. You have your um, speedometer down here. I'm at zero miles an hour. I have pushed this forward. I got 0.1 miles an hour. So it adjusts and tells you the speed you are. On the right hand side over here is your speed control. So you can adjust the speed within each profile. So I'm on indoor slow. The top speed is about one mile an hour and my speed gauge is all the way up. So this means when I go full speed in this profile, I will go one mile an hour. If I drop this down all the way, so on indoor slow, and I push the joystick all the way forward, it might go a quarter of a mile an hour or something along those lines. So you can adjust the speed within the profile as well. Um, at the bottom, you have your odometer. This chair has seven miles on it. So, I'm going to go over powering on and off the joystick. Uh, I have the joystick on at the start of the video. If I want to power off, I will take this switch and push it down. Then the joystick powers off. Pushing this down, that is all it will do is power the uh, chair off. It won't do anything else. And the chair is currently saving a setting right now. Uh, unfortunately, I have to wait for it to finish. Okay, now that that setting is finished, I can turn the chair on. To turn the chair on, this would go up. Now you can see the chair power on. You want to wait about two seconds before you start pushing the joystick. Um, it'll recognize it as out of position. And here we are, we're back to where we were. Um, and then of course, in order to drive the chair, you would push the joystick forward to go forward, back to go back, right to right, and then left to left. Um, if I want to cycle the profile, so I'm on indoor slow. If I want to go to indoor moderate, I would take this little switch here and go up one. Now I'm at indoor moderate. The top speed is going to be around two and a half miles an hour. Again, I can adjust that here and now I'm going you know, a quarter of a mile an hour again. So I can go through all four of these. Now we have outdoor moderate. And then finally, outdoor fast. This is about six miles an hour on the power chair. Now, if you want, to get back to indoor slow, you would press this one button right here. This will always take you back to indoor slow. So no matter where you are in the settings menu, we're gonna cover some of these. If I press one, go back to indoor slow. Okay, so now I'm going to keep cycling through. This is our setting menu. We're gonna talk about this at the end. I'm gonna skip it for now. I'm gonna go up again. And now we're in the function menu. So this is how you, uh, use the functions on your chair. Some joysticks will have a switch box behind a joystick. If not, all functions can be worked through the joystick. And basically, whatever is highlighted in yellow is what function will be used. So currently, I have the bottom and the back highlighted in yellow. This is tilt. So the back and the bottom of the chair will both tilt backwards. And in order to engage that, I would push the joystick either forward or backwards. So that engages the tilt backwards, that will engage it forwards. If I want to cycle through the functions, the joystick will go left or right. 
I am going to go to the right. Now just the back is highlighted in yellow. That means it's just reclined, so only the back will go back. This is just the bottom is in yellow. This is the seat lift. The seat lift will go up and down. This is the legs. This chair has electric legs. The legs will go up and down in this setting. And now you have back and legs. This is if you want to lay down. The legs will go up and the back will go back at the same time. And if I cycle one more time, I'm back to where we started. Now, if you want to access the function menu, you would press the number two. So remember, one goes back to indoor slow. Number two will always take you to the function menu. So you can just keep alternating that however you want to. Uh, this yellow button is your horn. And then next is the setting menu. If you push this button that looks like a house, you will go to the setting menu. Here we are. So from here, if I push the joystick up, it takes me to the driving position. I'm going to go back to where we were. If I push the joystick down, it goes to the function menu. And if I go to the left, I'm now in the setting menu. You can also access the setting menu. You don't have to push that button. Let's say I'm at indoor slow. If I go and cycle through our functions like this, I can eventually hit the setting menu from here as well. So there is three options in the setting menu. You have this first one is your, uh, your econ and your interactive like assist. This is a Bluetooth functionality. I'm not going to cover everything uh, about Bluetooth in this video, but if you do want to enable that, you would just bring your joystick to the right and now it's checked. A little Bluetooth uh, mark appears and your Bluetooth device can be used with the chair. I'm going to disable that for now. I don't want to do that in this video. Next, we're going to go to the setting menu. In order to select anything in the menu, you're going to move the joystick to the right. And there's little arrows on the side indicating that as well. To the right. And now we've got a little sub menu. <clears throat> so the first sub menu is sounds. So to go through the sounds, I'm going to go to the right again to select sounds. Here's all the sound options we can do in a chair. So if I want to change the volume of the horn, I'll go right again. And look at that, I'm at 100%. It's pretty loud. I can push the joystick down. Let's go all the way down to, let's say 15. You can't even hear the horn at this point. I'm going to go back up. Once you have it set where you want, you would go left on the joystick and this will bring you back to where you just were. Now we have, next is beep volume. Uh, when you cycle through different settings in your joystick, the chair will beep. I currently have that disabled, but I will show you how to enable that. You can adjust beep volume. So it's at 70% now, again, up or down. Once I'm done with that, I will push my joystick to the left. We will be back where we started. Next is navigation beep type. So when you're navigating the menu, uh, it's what type of beeps do you want to be present? I said it was disabled. Here we are, we have disabled, checked. There's two other settings, basic, advanced, and command. Uh, I'm not fully sure what each of these does, but I'm going to go with advanced. I'm going to get it selected, and now when I navigate the joystick, you'll hear beeps. You see? So if you don't want that, I'm going to disable it again. I'm going to go to the left and disable that. So that's what beep volume would adjust, how loud those sounds were when you're navigating the menu. I have it turned off. I find it kind of annoying. Um, now there is navigation beep enabled, so you can tell which beeps would be enabled. So pressing the home or standby button would enable a beep. Uh, drive profile when you're cycling would have a beep. Um, settings beep when you're going to the settings menu and seat functions beep. I have them all enabled, but you can individually disable them by going to the right. And if you want to re-enable it, go to the right again. When you're done with this menu, go to the left. Last is system beeps. Again, if you want to turn on a reverse alarm or anything like that, you can do that through this menu. Again, you would just push the joystick to the right to enable these. So I'm going to go, there's a whole, whole bunch of these. I'm going to go to the left again. So we've covered everything in the sound menu of the settings. I'm going to go back again, and now we're going to go over display. So this is probably the one you want to use the most. This is how you customize your chair. 
and we have a whole display menu starting with language. If I want to change the language, I would go to the right, and I have English set. I can set it to Italian if I want. And if I go to the left again, everything's in Italian. Let me change it back to English. I don't actually know Italian. There we go. And then back to the left, we're back where we started. Next is background. So the background of this chair is currently blue. I can change that. Uh, this chair has red shrouds. Let's make the background red. So I'll go down to the background type I want, go to the right to enable it. And then when I go back, I'm just gonna hit the home button just so you see. Now the background is red. So we were in the display setting. Here we are. That's where we just left off. Next is measurement system. You go to the right. You can switch between kilometers and miles. Again, you go right to enable it. And then left to go back to the main menu. Distance indicator, I'm gonna to go to the right. You can change it whether it's a trip or an odometer. So earlier, it said seven miles on a chair. That was the odometer. I can set a trip meter as well if you want to see how far you went in a day. You just enable that and it should start automatically. So when I go back to the main setting, uh, I have a trip set at 7.6. Um, I can edit that. So let me go back to where I just was. We were in display, um, distance indicator, and then I can reset the trip meter from here. But I'm going to go and go back to odometer. I don't want trip meter. Time format. You can do 12 hour time or 24 hour time. Next is set time. This is one you probably want to see. So this is how you set the time on the chair. I have it set to 7.01 a.m. right now. Uh, that is obviously not the time that it is, but if I want to change the time, I would go up or down. So now it would be 10 a.m., 9 a.m. And whenever you're done, let's say it's 4 a.m. for whatever reason, I can now check the time. So it's 4.01. Now it's 4.11 in the morning. And a.m. and p.m. I can go up or down. Now it's 4.11 p.m. If I go to the right again, there will be a check mark. All right, enabled, in, in order to engage this new time we set, because you see it's 7.01 a.m. right now, I would push up on the joystick, and now it says it's 4.11 p.m. So that is how you change the time. You just push up on the joystick once you have that check mark highlighted. I can go down and change the brightness in the day, so the, this joystick is sensitive between day and night. Um, so you can change the brightness during the day setting, it's set to 100%. That's probably good, but you can go up and down. When you're done, move the joystick back to the left. We go back to where we started. I can keep going down on this menu, brightness night, same thing. So if I want it a little bit darker at nighttime, let's say I want it 60%. Then to save that, I go to the left, and see it saved it at 60%. I'm gonna go down again, dimming delay. Do you want a delay on how long it takes for the chair to start dimming? I have it set to zero seconds, it's not gonna dim, but I can make it wait five seconds. And if I sit here for five seconds, doing nothing, it'll start dimming. So I'm gonna go back down to zero, and then to save it, you go left again. Here you can enable the day or night function. You just go to the right and that'll turn it on or off. And then battery life indicator, it says up here 100%. If I disable that, it should, let's see if it does it. No, it did not, it kept it. But yeah, it should get rid of the percentage. I don't know why you'd want to get rid of that. Uh, keep going down and that is it, it brings us back. So let's go back again. Bluetooth operation, again, I'm not gonna cover Bluetooth in this video very much, but you can select which Bluetooth device you want to use by going to the right on the joystick. And then charging detection, I don't know why you would want that enabled, whatever. Um, that basically just enables it to detect when charging. Next is our system information. Um, if you want to know the information on the chair, like if you want the serial number on the chair, Instead of digging around and taking apart the shrouds on the bottom to find your serial number, you would go here. It says provider information. You would go to the right, and then there's our serial number for the unit. 
go back, software version, we can see how up to date our software is. There's all the versions of the software. And FCC information is also there. And that is all the information in the settings. So again, to cycle functions, it is this. You can go through everything. The one will always bring you back to indoor slow. The two will always bring you to your function menu. You have a horn. Then this will bring you to the setting menu and you can access the settings from here. Uh, I hope this guide was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. And thank you for watching this video. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.